I greet you and welcome you back for this outing. We are looking at the husband, the ex-husband of Ruth Matthew. I'm sure most of you have heard about him, the absentee father, the one who's assumed to be dead, the one who was never there, but he came out over two years later after his son disappeared to join others in casting stones at the mother of his four children. This man is so disgraceful, so shameless, so desperate to make money that he decided to team up with those against the return of his child. He's gone in bed with them and he's speaking against Joseph Matthew, our sister. We never heard anything about him. Even when we were informed that Ruth Matthew went to that Berikita show in Abuja, there was no record of this man accompanying her to that show. He's been conveniently absent for so long and he has suddenly appeared. <laughs> What did he do? He was making noise, saying all kinds of things. It's a shame. I would let you listen. I was going to show the video, but I don't want him to be seen here until he repents and takes uh, joins his, his ex-wife, the mother of his children, on, on the search of his child. So I'm going to play it on this here, I hope it will be loud enough to be heard. So, when this is the time, now she now come my baby at this. So, I went in me and his father, he went to the world to go and see. That's the I meet a man. He said, Lord, with her, with my children, outside my city. And I asked him, what happened with this man? Mm. Honestly, this is not someone that I want to present here. He started with saying, he's a responsible father. I'm a responsible father. In a previous video I did that I was trying to find before this one, he said things about sending his children to the best schools in the locality where they live. He took care of them, provided for them. A responsible father. Two years plus, nothing was heard about you. You didn't do anything. You, he came out to claim that he interacted with the person Someone who said they knew where the child was, but he did absolutely nothing. He didn't get the police. He wasn't angry enough. This is your child missing here. And you interacted with the very person who told you he knew where the child was. You sent him money as he claimed, as I claimed that he sent the guy 70,000 Naira to go search for the child. So I do not understand. How are you a father of a child who is lost? You Okay, you know, you claim that the mother of this child knows where he is. He is in cahoots with those who took the child. However, we didn't involve the police. We didn't say anything to the authorities so they could join you to go arrest this mother and that man all these years. And now that the mother has come out and she's speaking and she's been taken to court, that's when you go outside the court and make nonsensical videos, fooling yourself. Oh, God. How evil can people be? I wonder how much they gave him that he must have finished eating by now. 
is back to where he belonged. The poverty mentality of these people is just beyond belief. How could a man, a father, do that against his own child? Yes, you hate the mother. What about the child that is yours? A responsible father who sent his children to the best school in the town. Yes, look at the daughter you had before those children. This was the reason why I presented that video about the daughter before this father. How do you send your children to the best schools? And that's your daughter. She wouldn't even sound like someone who had been through school. No disrespect to her. That girl is a victim of circumstances as well. A father like that failed her on all counts. I, I, I really do not understand why this man thinks he has a case against Ruth Matthew. He, he, he's coming out to say Ruth Matthew was having something to do with, with the man, one of the people who was planted in her life when she went to that messy shrine. For goodness sake, Ayo, Ayo Alfred, Alfred, just shut up. Just go and sit down in the gutter where you belong. You are not a father. You do not even think about the future. Should baby testimony be found and his brothers are reunited, the life they would live after, how you would re relate with them later in life. These children would grow up and they would see these videos because they would not, they can never be completely erased from the internet. And they would hear you speaking in this manner against their, fa their mother. You are a disgrace to all fathers, to all men, whether they have children or not. How much is the, the, the worth of the life of your child? Are you? How much? What, what got into you? They threatened you? They gave you money? They promised you all kinds of things? You claim not to have a phone that had internet. But then you do not need the phone to go to the authorities, the police, to present your case. Oh my goodness, I don't even want to spend time on this guy. This is the failure, the worst of all deadbeat fathers. May God deliver children who have such fathers in their lives. May God help those children to find support, relief from the mothers. Just like uh, Ruth's children are finding life with their mom who cares for them. I'm not wasting time on this guy. He's not worth it at all. I just wanted to present him. That's the one who had four children, four boys with Ruth Matthew that he abandoned all of them. But he comes to make noise and read off of scripts that he was handed. It's been a while we've not heard from him now. Hopefully he'll be back shortly. I wonder what he'll come to say this time around. But guys, that's the father. You see why we need to keep praying for Ruth Matthew? Her safety, God's guidance and provision so she can continue to stay sane, safe and provide for the children that this poor excuse of a man has abandoned, neglected for her to look after alone. Thank you for your time. God bless you.